Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Sky. Today we're gonna start things off with something really exciting. So last time we sort of got a lot of the um, organis- we, well we got a lot of cleanup done. Thank you guys so much for the, for the response around that. And we still got some to do but we also towards the end of the episode got this wall installed here which takes care of all of my um, uh, mats, all of my, my, my diamond maker results, basically, except for, are these, are these not work, uh, uh, that's interesting, <laughs> that's interesting, uh, I did since upgrade these things, and I installed void filters, and I installed, um, emerald upgrades in these, in the ones that we use, as you can see here, because I didn't do that in the video, but is this, oh my goodness, they don't, they don't work together. I guess that is okay, because we aren't anymore making them into blocks. I just need to manually empty the ones we have. But anyway, today, to start off today, I am a little bit excited, because I want to continue to work on the storage flow without going into digital storage. So we're going to do stuff that I haven't done in a very, very long time. Uh, we're going to try and get an auto sorter, a modded auto sorter, that will sort items into these chests and I'm yeah it's gonna be really fun so the very first thing we need to do I basically think I want to get to this thing here advanced big item filter which takes two shulker shells and an advanced item filter and I think I'm gonna need several of these so we do need to produce shulkers today uh, the second thing is we need to make the advanced item filters which is redstone uh oh that's always a problem we have 14 pieces of redstone, so I may have to go mining for that today. And we need paper, which we have, and we need the Z-Logic controller, which is a thing made in a slice and spice. The materials, per se, are not super hard to get by. The solarium is a little bit tricky, but... Uh, yeah, we can we can probably get that the the number first the, the number first the number one thing we should do though is to create the slice and splice which is made like a so okay so I do need some alloys and stuff I wonder where I put my alloy fern I did I put it in here simple alloy smelter no sag mill okay where is the alloy smelter oh you know what I actually put it over here yes I put it right over here. I remember now, so that it would get power. Okay, I would eventually, uh, we, we need like a extension to this thing, I think, and possibly go upwards with it or downwards, but I need I need to put the machines someplace as well so that I can access all of these things. I, I usually do that towards the end of my series and <laughs> that's kind of stupid. But anyway, uh, so the slice and splice, let's have a look at this. It, it is a little bit of a long sort of rabbit hole to do all these things, but... This is the goal, and so solarium is made. It's soul sand and gold, I think, but let's have a look. Yeah, soul sand and gold. So let's start by getting a stack of gold, and I have soul sand. Yep, a stack of slow sand, and just start cooking this stuff up, because we're going to need quite a bit of it by the looks of things. Oh, what does soul sand blend into? Soul glass? Ghostly. Oh, you can walk through it. I bet you that... Mobs can't walk through it then. Oh, buddy! Quest complete! Very nice. Where the heck have I put my quest book, though? Whoa. I've just probably emptied it somewhere. <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to find it. I think there may be an option to just bind a key. Open quests. Yes. Can I bind it to that? And then I need to go to journey map. Oh, no, wait. Yep, that is a key. It was just... It was just conflicting. Okay, nice. So I don't actually need the little Game Boy. I knew that. I just have been... I've just been lazy. So Solarium is probably in this one. Yes, Solarium is here. So this is actually a quest chain that we're doing. Very, very cool. Let's make sure we claim that. A lot of you guys were telling me that I could use the RAKs to just buy flight and stuff as well. And I didn't actually think about that. But you guys are right. So if we go to the reward section, like you can buy all of these things. Flight totem for 760... 768. Don't know if I like creative flight so much though. I mean, we're getting to a point in the series where we may want it, but it's not something that I ever rush. I think it's it's very, very powerful in any series when you get to. Slice and splice is made like so. So we do need one of these chassis as well. How do I make those? They're alloy smelting. A simple chassis with soul attuned dye blend. Okay. Mm hmm. Soul powder. 
organic brown dye, crushed nether, and, and the organic black dye. This is going to be a little bit interesting. So salt powder, I think, is just crushed solarium. Yes. So I can do that. Once again, though, because I've cleaned everything up, a lot of the machines are still packed down. So the crusher is one of those that is packed down. And the quartz we can crush easily. The organic brown dye is twigs and prunings with slime in the alloy smelter. Okay. Is this going to work? Yes. Sweet. Okay. So then all I need to do is put a sag mill up which I already have, and we have the quick one, and, oh, this is fun, let's just grab, let's grab a few of these and see what capacitors we have to play around with, and I guess we'll just stick that here for now, uh, so this is 239, oh, wow, that may be really, really good, 122, one. It says, incredibly explosive premium insatiable premium crushed wonder capacitor, I think premium and wonder are really good and we have two of premium and one wonder as the prefixes so that's gonna be interesting so let's just try and put these in there oh my goodness look at how quick that is <laughs> yes organic black dye is made by just taking some coal crush it up and then slime bullet right yes okay so i think this will give us six of the attuned uh thingamajig Six of the soul attuned dye blend. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we can actually make 12. Let's do that. Nice. So now all I need is a simple chassis, which is just iron and the bedrock stuff. How much of this stuff do I have? Only 10. I've taken that machine down. So that may be something I have to look into setting back up again. But let's make the iron bars we need. And let's make this thing. And I guess we'll just, yeah, let's just craft up four of them for now. And then, ah, that goes into the alloy smelter, of course. <laughs> it is a little bit of a process because, like, this is only the very first thing we're doing. Rabbit hole, here we come sort of thing. But look at that, boom. And quest, quest, please. Yes, nice. Let's claim this and let's see if we can finish. I think the next quest may even be, yeah, that is the slice and splice, so... How do we put this together, dear thing? Slice and splice. That's just that. It's a skull. Four of those. I know we've done this before in this series, right? I'm pretty sure. Once again, because I do many different mod packs and stuff, I, I sometimes get them confused. Oh, no. We need that as well. Uh, I do have six grains of infinity left. I should definitely set that farm up again, though. <laughs> because if we are going to need more of it, it's going to very quickly become a thing all right anyway we got that we got those and slice and splice we did it yes slice and splicer put that guy here this also needs a capacitor so and again this is like the capacitors are different uh they're not necessarily all of them the the one that was premium is not necessarily good in this one but that is insane premium big wonder capacitor that's a lot of power this is going to drain. A lot more than I su am supplying here. And besides, Endryo doesn't like these things for some reason. So once again, with my very budget setup, we have to put this thing over here. <laughs> Alright, so now we need silicon. We need an axe as well. Um, we need an axe. I think it can be any durability. But yeah, let's just make, <laughs> let's just make a diamond axe because we're fancy. And then we need shears and two sticks. Boop, boop. Because these are the tools that are used in the slice and splice. So there's our axe and there's our shears. Uh, and then, let's see, we need to make silicon. Have I made silicon in this pack? I have, right? I made lots and lots and lots of silicon. I'm pretty sure over here, if I just go... Because you can make them in these. Yeah, I did. Okay, sweet. I do remember something. <laughs> That's good. So we should be able to just shift click this in, which is very, very useful, by the way. Uh, you can always shift click in and it goes into the right, sli uh, right slot. Guardian diode, that's cool. So we need to make a bunch of the Z-Logic controllers. Um, we need redstone, we need mob skulls or uh, zombie heads and solarium. So solarium, I should have a lot of by now or a stack of. Yep. Uh, zombie heads and then the problem is going to be redstone. We have 19 now. <laughs> this is so bad. Then I'm going to grab a hopper for this as well because I think you can't you can't put more than one item in. So if I do something like this, 
just as test boom 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 that is working beautifully and wow that is really quick oh and i need to put the silicon in as well oh my goodness you guys this is so quick this machine is usually very slow this capacitor is amazing it's a heaven sent <laughs> that was bad <laughs> okay so that's how we get our z logic controllers do i get a quest for this hello quest book should be something oh we gotta claim this one should be something um doesn't look like it though that's weird it wants us to make the soul binder next another thing that we're probably gonna need but anyway um gonna let that run so these we can then use to make the advanced item filters but now we need redstone now we are completely out of redstone so i'm gonna have to go mining a bit as well and it's fairly simple to get the redstone in the nether i suppose now that we have uh this unbreakable so we can vein mine uh, but I, I, I'm just gonna skim through the comments real quick again from the last video and see if this glass idea for the red orchard is anything I can make use of. I'm just kidding. We're gonna break grass! Grass, not glass, stupid me. <laughs> okay, so apparently, according to you guys in the comments, if I make grass, right? Let's see if we can make... Can we make that by bone dirt or do we need actual glass? I, I, this is... This is like basic Minecraft, and I'm like, hello, I don't actually know this one. <laughs> I think it needs to be grass. Yeah, it needs to be grass. How do I get grass? I have probably got grass seeds. We do have grass seeds, though. We get that from sifting dirt. Okay, so if I plant down a bit of a platform here, like that, and then plant this down. Oh, oh, that's right. We have cork in the pack, so all the grass is just beautifully green. <laughs> but it doesn't matter what biome we're in. I don't really personally like that very much. I think it's a bit cheesy. And then uh, let's make a watering can from, yeah, this stuff here. Tin. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gated in this pack. We need... Ah, oh, no. This thing. Can I make this thing? I can't make that thing. I can't make that. I can't... I can't probably get to this thing. Watering can would be really nice because then the water would spread here. Or the grass would spread immediately. To make this stuff, though, I need a lot of the shards. Um, and I have none. <laughs> I've got none. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, it is already spreading, though. So I guess... I guess this is what you guys are telling me to do. In order to get... I really love this grass color. It's really a scallium and nice. I want to make my base out of grass now. <laughs> But yeah, I guess this is what you guys are telling me in order to get the the seeds. I That's usually sometimes disabled in packs. So I'm worried that it's disabled in this pack as well. But we can do this, test this for a little while. I'm just going to help this out because, yeah, I have grass seeds. I'll save one, I guess. So I don't have to do that again. And while that is growing, I think this is going to be a very low chance. So I think I actually want to make a farm to try and get this stuff. And... Um, Am I, am I getting very sidetracked now? I am very getting very sidetracked. I'm trying to get redstone to make the item filters. But this is this color you're watching, so we get very sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I think I want to make a farm. And to make a farm, i got to move that grass because I put it up in a stupid area. Even though everything is temporary, like always. I think we can make this a little bit better to begin with. But to move the grass, I need a silk touch shovel. So, speaking about moving things, I'm going to want to put up my Tinker Smeltery again. And I wonder where I want to do that. I kind of like the idea of having a skyscraper, you know? Uh, having this build be a skyscraper. So I think I may embrace that and start by... The only problem is that it's not it's not symmetrical, though. <laughs> so I really don't know where I... Or what I want to do with this building yet. So I just, for now, I put up an elevator. I moved the elevator to the center. And then I put up my smelter here. So... <laughs> This is going to be our, again, yet again, temporary tinker setup. But it's going to be at least a little bit better than what the other one was. Uh, what we do need to do is a modifier called the Silky Jewel. This thing here. And that is silky cloth around an emerald. Silky cloth is string and gold. Super, super simple for us, hopefully. Do we have a lot of uh, string? String and silky jewel. Awesome. <laughs> that was easy. And all of this because we're out of redstone. All of this because I placed this thing down there. But to be honest, it's always nice to have a tinker set up. Uh, once again, I don't like it not being set up. Alright, shovel. Boom. 
and I don't need to name it but we do want to put the modifier on there immediately so there we go we got a silk touch shovel and now I can move the grass no where did it go oh wait a minute wait a minute yes Whew. Got a little bit scared there why did I think in the last episode that you guys would have said <laughs> glass I'm such an idiot <laughs> that is so funny Okay, so anyway, uh, we want to try and automate this process. So if I have a dispenser, I think I think I can do it with a dispenser and a bunch of bone meal and just let's go at a drawer, maybe a drawer, a basic drawer. This is going to be sort of a vanilla automation thing, I think. We got to break the grass as well and we got to suck the items up. So we got to figure that out. Absorbation hopper, that's going to be useful. And I think I'm going to go with a piston method, maybe. But wait, pistons require redstone. How much do I have? Four. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not going to do it. That's not... Oh, I have a block of redstone in here. What the heck, man? I'm rich. Nice. I do also need redstone to actually wire this up. And I could only craft 13 pistons. So I think it's time that we uh, make use of all the redstone that we have in the... <laughs> in the... In this thing. Because we have a lot in the witch's hats. I just need a way... To get them out of there. I feel really bad that I've sidetracked so much. Because at this pace we're not even going to get to the to the, to the the storage today. But anyway, let's whitelist the hats. Okay. And then we're going to put a chest up, I guess. A chest. Yeah, this could work. Hold on, I got an idea. A chest and then I'm going to temporarily make a crafting bench. Which, that's not how you make a crafting bench, you idiot. A tinker's crafting bench next to that. That will connect to the chest. Sweet. And then extract always active. And insert on this one. Should extract the witch's hats. Yes. Okay, so now if I just have this recipe up. Oh, but this is not vanilla. We don't have the We don't have the luxury of being able to just have the recipe in the book. But this works. Look at this. We're making we're making redstone. Obviously, this is not the automated way that I want to have redstone, because this is still me crafting it. But this is sort of the this is the emergency way of getting it. Is that that's not all? Why are you not doing a thing? That's not all witch hats. Come on now, don't say that. Gertrude would be sad. There are still more witch hats. Why are you all of a sudden just not extracting? You stupid thing. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, whatever. Let's make a few more pistons. We're gonna need. Oh no, we're only going to need 10 pistons. We're only going to need 10 pistons. But I am going to need some uh, repeaters and that stuff to actually wire this up. Because I'm going to wire it up in a very vanilla way. And honestly, this is a temporary thing. Because once we have a red orchard, we don't need to run this thing anymore. If we even get red orchards. But the idea is fairly straightforward. If you have a dispenser underneath a grass block and bone mill it, it should bone meal that thing. Yeah, that's a vanilla feature. Okay, so... That's step number one. We're going to have a 5x5 five five platform of grass for that dispenser to do its thing on. Now, can I place redstone on this glass? I can. Whew, nice. All right, so bone meal goes in here. That should be sent into the dispenser. Very nice. And then, in theory, I should be able to put a block here with an observation to Remove that block. That shouldn't affect anything and should pick everything up. And just, just for now, I think we can do this. And this is the west direction. So west would be item. That should be outputting anything into this crate. Nice. We have a little bit more storage space. And I made a redstone clock block. Uh, which is just a very nice redstone clock in one block. <laughs> redstone clock in one block. And in theory, this should now work. This should be all I need to do. So... Fingers crossed. I haven't built these. And, yeah, yeah, that is doing what it's supposed to do. Nice. And I don't know how rare these are, and I don't know if it's enabled in the pack. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> what? Okay, okay. I'm I'm a little bit silly right now. I could have done this. <laughs> I could have done this manually then. So I think like basic basic config these are super rare to get by by uh, bone milling grass oh that is the most ridiculous thing ever so we need to plant these on redstone ore in order to automate them 
in order for them to grow and by default they're pretty slow um, but I have got a plan so we need some redstone ore and you may wonder how on earth are we gonna get redstone ore well I'm gonna clean up my inventory and show you it's the nether that's right we're gonna go into the nether and we're gonna vein mine the crap out of things and there are oh we just leveled up our pickaxe as well there is redstone here and once we pick this up if you guys remember we smelt it down into regular redstone ore aha redstone ore sweet okay so let's get that stuff nice and whoops i forgot that i have to get back up <laughs> right so if we just smelt this up we get redstone ore nice and then with the redstone ore i'm not going to be able to break this but we do have a little bit more we can plant the red orchard now <clears throat> Oh wow, this may be, someone said in the last episode that it may be my bone mealer effect that makes this really quick. Because that is way quicker than it's usually done. Uh oh, oh no, it's got in here, yeah. That is way, way quicker. I think we can right click these as well. <laughs> this is so quick. I think that's my ability totem. But yeah, we can right click it and then it continues to grow. So we could, in theory, just for now... If I just actually I didn't I don't even have to do what I just did there. So that's good. But <laughs> so let's put that back. In theory, if I break this, put down one redstone ore and put the plant here. The plant this thing here, the inter interactor should deal with that. Yes. Look at that. Now there are better ways or quicker ways of automating this. Because if I have to I don't know if I have to be close for that to be bone milled. Yeah, look at that. Now it's super slow. And with me here, it grows quickly. So I have to be within three blocks away. <laughs> Obviously, that's not what I want to do. Um, that's silly. <laughs> that's silly. So we want to automate this. But unfortunately, we're out of video time for today. So that's going to have to be in the next episode. Which is a little bit weird because I was going to do the storage today. And we just fell down the rabbit hole of needing resources. But we'll, what we'll do next time is we'll hopefully get to the advanced filters using these guys that we made. Because they are the, the tricky part of the advanced filter. And we'll hopefully get to automate the shulkers uh, so that we can get the advanced big item filter. I've never actually seen this thing. So I hope that it does what I think it does. And then we'll build a storage system once we have that. But before we do that, we're going to take care of automating redstone properly. And just out of curiosity, have we got a bunch of red orchards now? We still have bone meal in the thing, because you can see the, the thing. Sometimes vanilla powers are good to have, even in modded. We have... We have got seven more. Okay, so we got very lucky with the first two, I guess. And we also got ender lilies, which is ender pearls, essentially. All right. All right. I'm gonna let that run out of bone meal and see how many we get. But that's gonna do it for today. Like I said, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of Hermit Sky. If you do have a suggestion of the skyscraper build, please tweet me a picture or something that you create so that I can get some inspiration for a skyscraper because I think a skyscraper would look really cool here on the cloud. But that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.